What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Shane and today I have a whole lot of nothing to talk about except for what I've been doing. Um, this is my first, gonna be my first full week of not working. It's kind of a odd feeling. It feel like, feels like I'm in trouble or on vacation or feels like I should be doing something other than hanging out in here and doing projects. But this is what I'm doing. Um, this, this is this is that rabbit pen I had talked about. I'm doing for my my aunt. It's an indoor rabbit pen. It needs to be uh, furniture grade. It's it's needs to be a nice pen because it is going inside. But we have uh, we have it's going to have a, a, a rabbit pen up top. It's going to have a rabbit pen on the bottom. It's going to have four doors, and they're all going to open separately so she can get in there and clean it out. And the foot on the bottom, that's gonna be a, a storage shelf. But this side over here is gonna be wire, wire. This part's gonna be wire. The first two doors on this side is gonna be wire. Half the, half the doors on this side is gonna be wire, and the other half is gonna be plywood to give it some, some shade, I guess, or darkness. Um, and then on the top, the top is gonna have a top. <laughs> and it's gonna have a little lip around the, the top of it. That way she can put something in here so her cats can get up here and lay down. Um, that's really all there is to say about that. It's, it, a lot of people use SketchUp to make stuff with or to, to, to plan it out before they build it. I don't do that. I probably need to because this is taking, it's like a puzzle. It's like a huge puzzle and I'm having to create the puzzle as I go because it has a lot of different size dados and, and just a lot of weird stuff going on here. So I need to learn how to use SketchUp so I can plan it out on there first and then just come in here and cut all the wood and throw it all together. But I hadn't done it yet. So I do it as I go. Luckily I hadn't messed up any or wasted any wood on it. So, But this is how my shop normally looks when I'm in the process of doing something. So we got, we got, uh oh. The rabbit pan going on here. I got my other table saw set up so I can do my dados, so I ain't gotta keep changing out the blade. I'll come back to that shop back in a second. I got, this is, uh, this is what I've been using for the panels. She wanted it light, so I've been using thin stuff for the panels. Oh, the outside of it's gonna be painted white, the inside's not gonna be painted at all, just in case there's any chemicals in there for the rabbits not to be laying on. I have, that's gonna be some shelves over there. It's a mess, I know. I have my wire cutting station down here. It's pretty high tech. Y'all can uh, make yourself, y'all can make yourself one if you want to. We'll spin y'all all the way around. Oh yeah, all this wood over here. A friend of mine gave it to me, so it's it, I didn't have nowhere else to put it. I hadn't cleaned that wood shop out outside yet, so it's in here for now. But I'll get to it one of these days. But anyway, back to this shop. That's that's it on the rabbit pen. It I'll update later, after, probably next week, I guess. But this shop vac. So I had I had a uh, a clogged kitchen sink. And I, I can't see nothing, huh? Move, move it up some. Anyway, I had a clogged kitchen sink, so I went to Home Depot. I had to make two trips to Home Depot. The first trip, I got a uh, 20 foot snake, a little flat thing. It's got a some type of metal wire head on the end of it jammed up in there i don't know probably three different times ran it up 20 feet 
beat the inside of the pipes up and of course it didn't do anything it was still clogged up so i might well screw it so i went back to home depot and i got two different types of drano whatever uh guaranteed to work in seven minutes or your money back nah didn't even touch it uh ran the snake down there again beat it up some more didn't do nothing called a buddy of mine he brought his snake over he's got one it's it's 25 foot long and it, you run it in there and you twist this knob and it spins it around it's supposed to open up whatever's in there beat it up with that guy nothing happened so uh he had an idea he's like you got a shop vac i said yeah i got a shop vac so we put the shop vac on there and you gotta you gotta clog up all the vent holes that goes to your particular sink or whatever but just stick the shop back on there and sucked everything out and clean it right up it was nasty like old grease or something clogged it up i guess and but it's just years and years of of grease going down it i guess anyway moral of the story is if you get a drain or a clogged up drain don't go buy all that stupid stuff if you got a shop vac, just stick the shop back on there and suck it out save you a lot of time a lot of money but the video is going to be short this week because i've been working on this and i don't have a whole lot of other stuff going on so anyway that's it for this one um i'll see y'all next week